Hello and welcome to my little more modern business card help video. My name is Maria and I will be your guide throughout this tutorial. In this introduction video I'll show you how to find and download fonts used in this template and how to create and apply your own QR code. Before we start let's see the template structures and what you can find in this template. Once you download your template, first order of business is to extract files. Once your template has been extracted, you'll see three different folders. Info folder, where you can find info PDF with basic information about the template, and then CC and CS5 folder with the respective versions of Adobe software for these folders. Depending on the software version you have, open corresponding folder and there you can find um, folders named with the file type extensions uh, like AI for Adobe Illustrator, PSD for Adobe Photoshop, etc. Okay, before we start editing the templates, let's find the fonts used in this template. You can either open the info PDF file and then use the download button here to directly go to the download page like this and then of course download your font or you can use the text file that has the link to the <clears throat> sorry to the download page copy it and paste it directly into your browser and you'll end up on in the same place once you download the font from the page uh, all you have to do is install it on your system and then you can start working with it the second thing uh, you're going to need to do is create your own QR codes. QR code that has been used in this template, of course, is a <clears throat> dummy QR code and you'll need to create your own. For that purpose, I'm using the online barcode generator and um, you can use this website, you can use the multitude of sites you, you can find, just type, on, uh, type in QR code generator in your uh, Google search and you'll find a lot of them. The basic principle is the same. Uh, you choose the parameters of the bar barcode. I'm going to choose for the purposes of this tutorial uh, a website. You enter those parameters and then we go to create. Once the barcode has been created, I'm going to download the vector version of it. And once that's been done, I'm going to open that vector version in Adobe Illustrator and edit it. I'm going to leave it as it is. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just select everything, then select the Artboard tool. And here in Presets, I'm going to fit the selected art. The second thing, go to Ungroup. I'm going to remove this white background, select everything, go to <clears throat> Window, Pathfinder, Unite everything, so I don't have to deal with all these uh, little elements. And once I've done that, I'm going to File, Document Color Mode, CMYK Color. Make sure CMYK is set here. Select all the black. I'm just going to make sure it's at 100% K. Once that's been set up, I go to File, Save as My QR Code. So I have my already set up QR code uh, saved in the system. <clears throat> the second thing. I'm going to do. If you're not planning to make any other changes to your design, you just you're you're gonna add your info to uh, your uh, business card. Uh, the easiest way to apply this is to open the QR code from the template in the Photoshop file, and then either place the QR code you have just created, or just simply select everything, edit, copy, and then edit, paste, and I'm going to paste it as a shape layer. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to 
save um, this version as a vector so I can scale it up and down without losing the quality. Now the only thing I have left to do is change the color. So I'm going to change it at 100% and save it. And once it's been saved, I can start editing the template. Now, this way I can use the vector version in my Illustrator file if I need to, or I can just use the version from uh, this updated uh, QR code in a template. Okay, now that we have the fonts installed and we have QR code set up, let's start with the editing. In the next video, we'll edit the, the template in Adobe Illustrator. See you!